Camille Badanis, the main protagonist of the Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam television series, he piloted one of the Gundam Mark II prototype, then later on piloted MSE 006 Zeta Gundam. Hey Mika fans, welcome back for another bootleg HG review. This is for the Gundam Mark II by JMS Model. I got my copy from a local seller, hence the delay in the review. Let's check the contents. Most of the plastic is in gray color, the inner parts is in gunmetal, black, and gold. We also get water slide decal, and a premium action base from JMS. 80-85% to of the runners is undergated. I added panel lines using Tamiya panel accent ink, then metallic markers to add details. For the mold details, I will give this 5 out of 5, since JMS added extra panel lines for the model. As you can see, I already added decals here on this model. For now, let's do a quick assembly. I have also added silver paint on the thrusters and metallic markers on the black surface details. JMS added some panel lines in the arms to mimic the master grade version details. For the eyes, I did use black marker and metallic green. And a bit of metallic red in this area. The decals is quite nice and just right. The panel lines adds depth on an otherwise boring gray plastic surface. I did not encounter any difficulty building this model. For the shield and weapons, I used metallic markers to add details. The quality of the water slide decals is really good. For straight builds like this, I recommend using a Mark Fit decal solution. I am really happy with how this model kit turned out. Let's check the articulation. The head can actually rotate 360. Same with the arms. Upper bicep rotation. 
more than 90 degrees elbow bend. Hands are on ball joints. No butterfly shoulder movement. But we get a decent bend on the body. Limited waist rotation. Can do full splits. Upper thigh rotation is possible. More than 90 degrees knee bend. Decent feet movement and articulation. Back skirt has an opening compartment to hold the bazooka. Overall, I gave this an articulation rating of 4 out 5. Only a portion of the decals were used, as this includes decals from Zeta Gundam as well. These are all the items we get after the build. It's too bad we don't get extra open hands for more dynamic poses. This model kit stands close to 13 centimeters. Size comparison with HG Build Divers Mark II. Leader class size bootleg Grimlock. This was painted to the Titan color version. Let's try using the accessories of this model to the JMS version. This accessory adds more character to the classic design. Let's see some other poses. Doing cool poses like this is not hard to achieve. Too bad it can't do a decent kneeling pose. If this was possible, along with at least one open hand, it could have a 5 out of 5. Correct me if I'm wrong, this color variant is a JMS exclusive, so definitely this is worth checking out. I hope you had fun watching this video. Please help the channel grow by sharing and subscribing. Thank you for watching. See you on the next review.